What's going on, everybody? It's our Mike, and it is Sunday evening. It is 10 o'clock, 10 11 in the evening on a 24 degree evening hour, and it has been a busy Sunday for me. So, I'm getting to this making this video kind of late, way later than I planned. We have both my Pixel 3 XL and my wife's Pixel 3 XL here. Um, one of my favorite screen protectors have come out, and I received it today, earlier this morning, but I was busy uh, Christmas shopping and getting gifts wrapped and other things done first. So I put this video to do uh, very later, or end of the day here. Um, with this screen protector that's currently on this, this is the AM Films screen protector. And you guys had seen the video about it. If you hadn't, check it out. It's on my channel. This was a good screen protector to have just to have um, just to have something to cover your glass, keep you from banging up your actual original glass underneath. And one thing you notice with a lot of these screen protectors that are not full adhesive type or that don't fit the glass perfectly, um, or even just trying to line it up perfectly, you can get one side really good. The other side you're going to have kind of the halo hue to it, and it's because some of the glass is hanging off and where the curve is, none of this uh, application, the adhesive, is actually sticking on that side, so it's just lifting. There are methods like olive oil and all that stuff, but things you can do to fix it. But uh, I'm going to take my wife's phone out of her case here, so we got to get the sucker prepped and ready. Um, I need to clean it off too. But yeah, uh, one of my favorite screen protectors has become available. And you all know what that is. It is the Whitestone Dome Glass. These are by far, they are the most expensive screen protectors you will find out there. But they are one of the best, hands down, best screen protectors you can get. Now, this packaging I have here, this is for the Pixel 3 XL. This does not include the UV light. This packaging is basically the replacement kit. Replacement kit. Comes with the new jig, rig, comes with the liquid adhesive, the glass screen protector. On the back here it says, no peeling off, high transparency, no colored edges, no dot matrix. DAP technology, which is the dome adhesive patent, does not affect touch sensitivity, high surface hardness, prevents scratches. And that is a big thing, uh, the high surface hardness and the touch sensitivity. My wife, she used this 3XL for the first couple days without a screen protector because we weren't going to spend 40 bucks at the store for a basic glass screen protector that just covered the edges and had the dot matrix in it. We decided to just order a film, or not film, but a screen protector we trust, which was the AM Films. And right away, once we put that on and she's playing with this, she noticed that she was having issues with it, uh, with how hers was functioning. She noticed that her, turn that down, or off, she noticed that her touch sensitivity was not as good. And I told her, I was like, once the domes come out, we will get them. And sure enough, dome did come out. Dome glasses did come out. Again, like I said, this one doesn't include the light, but it's because I already have one, two, at least three lights. Two of them right here. Got two lights right here, ready to go. And then I have a power brick that is my own that I can plug in two cables, run two lights at the same time. So I will be able to bake the sucker twice as fast, which is nice. Put one light on the top section of this and one light on the bottom and just let it bake it all in. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and unpack this, clear some stuff off here. And tonight we will actually do a time lapse just because a lot of people want to see how it's done. I'll try to set up a time lapse here and we'll go over the installation. All right, so we have our packaging cracked on open. Uh, the adhesive, they have cut down a little bit as of how much adhesive they put on the bottom of these, but going from the bottom side is probably the best way to crack into these, I find still to this day. And here is what we get inside our setup. Obviously it has changed quite a bit besides the outside packaging change. Uh, the inside has changed as well, as you can see. So we have a new, I believe 
this is for this is the new slide bar white stone dome glass slide bar if we can get that to focus on there it even says white stone dome as you guys can see maybe there we go yeah white stone dome this is a new slide bar for the setup with this phone now i don't know if the slide bar comes in every one everyone's uh, rig package jig package but that is what comes in here of course we have all our normal stuff normal manual that you always get all your dust removal alcohol swabs microfiber rags absorption pads and then we have our jig itself plus our bridge it's down here your two bottles of liquid adhesive and then obviously for uh, speaker cover parts and then the glass itself is in here as well so that's pretty much everything you need um i'm going to go on ahead clear everything away we're going to set up in the bathroom for doing the install and that is where we will do the time lapse as well because i like using the bathrooms for sterile reasons you can uh, put a lot of water moisture into the air doing a nice hot shower kill all the dust kill everything you don't want to get anything underneath this adhesive when it is trying to do its thing as soon as you drop that adhesive on and put that screen protector on anything that gets caught underneath is caught underneath and then you're kind of sol you gotta peel everything off do the whole process over and that we do not want to do so i'd rather do it right the first time and have it come out good And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, a perfect install on the first try with the new dome glass screen protector by Whitestone on my wife's Pixel 3 XL. As we can see here going along the bottom, everything looks perfect, perfectly lined up. The new tray assembly works well. The new slide rail works amazing. As you can see here, everything up top on the cameras is perfectly fine, crystal clear. You can see this glass screen protector comes up almost to the end of the actual glass display where it meets the metal siding going on around and it blends in well with this very good looks very nice so um, that is your first look probably at one of the few uh, videos of install on these new dome glass screen protectors for the pixel 3 XL. Now, I don't know if these are out for the Pixel 3 yet, but I know they are out for the Pixel 3 XL. Uh, the kit I bought did not come with the with the lights, but that is because I already have them, so I have no need for them. Um, it is an extra 10 bucks, so you're looking about $44 for if you are buying the full kit, first time ever using it, and it is definitely worth the money. Please make sure you guys register these with Whitestone through their website. Give them your order information. Uh, that you ordered it, if you got it from Amazon, you know, or any of their other sellers that they go through as well. So, again, that is your full look there at it on my wife's black Pixel 3 XL. So, 
Anyway, I will do mine tomorrow. I will let hers cure for the rest of the night. Uh, no case, no nothing on it. And a case should fit perfectly fine with these. Uh, most of them will. Anything that's going to hug super tight, you might have some lifting around the side. So please keep that type of stuff in mind. Uh, try to use something that's a little more looser fitting. Uh, the rink cases we generally have not had any issues with. That is one reason why we like going with rink. But yeah, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. Give me some likes. Let Whitestone know that you guys have seen this screen protector install in action. There is no actual video from them yet as of time of recording on this Sunday evening. Um, so yeah, mine is going to be one of the first out there, I believe. I might be wrong. So anyway, hit me up in the comment section if you guys have any comments or questions. This is RF Mike. I hope you all had a great evening. I will see you all in the next video.